Hi! Good day everyone! This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create spaces in Revit. So we use spaces to define volumes in uh, Revit MEP. So we use volumes in engineering data calculations and volumes are defined using spaces. So the volume of a space defines an analytical building model, which you can use for building performance analysis and heating and cooling load calculations. So spaces store values for the parameters that affect the heating and cooling load of a project. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you how to create space. So spaces are components also that are exclusive uh, exclusively used in MEP disciplines to analyze volume. So spaces contain information about the location, such as volumes, areas, names, and numbers. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to create space. Now, so as you can see, this model, uh, this model that I have is a link model. Okay, link architectural model. So if, if this is your model, Okay, if it is a link model in your Revit MEP project, make sure that you select the link model. Okay, ensure that the room bounding checkbox is selected in the type properties dialog box of our link model. So make sure this is checked. So this will enable you to place spaces and continue with the analysis which is otherwise impossible. If you are not going to check this all right so always remember that so if you have a link model in your project and then you want to make uh, spaces on that model so make sure uh, room bounding is checked okay okay so after that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the building section so I'm gonna select general building section here so you will notice that level 1 has no drop ceiling but an open plenum, right? So levels 2 and level 3 have ceilings that separate the plenum space from the occupied room. You see, there's a ceiling, ceiling that separate the plenum space from the occupied room. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so because we need to consider this uh, ceiling, for us to accurately get the analytical model of the project. Okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a level. Okay? I'm going to create uh, levels for plenum spaces. So from the architecture, I'm going to select here level. Okay? And then I'm going to uncheck make plan view here. I'm going to uh, uncheck make plan view. I do not want to create the plan view, for example. I just want to create level. And then I'm going to select here peak lines. So peak lines and then the offset distance, let's say 1000. Okay, so I'm going to offset level 3 and level 4. Okay, so that's now the level. Then after that, I'm going to change the name. So let's say this is my uh, level 2. Plenum, okay? Same with this one. This is my level 3 plenum. There you go. Okay, then after that, I'm going to create now spaces on existing level. So I'm going to open level 1 HBAC plan. So I'm now going to start creating the space. So level 1 HBAC plan. Okay, and then from the Analyze tab, Spaces and Zone panel, you will see here the space. So I'm going to select the space and I'm going to make sure that Tag on Placement is toggled on so that every time I place the space, there's a tag on it. Okay, and another thing is that I'm on level 1, so I just want to create a space from level 1 to level 2. Okay, so that's why I'm going to select here level 2. So the space will be from level 1 to level 2 without an offset distance. So I'm just going to make this 0. 
Okay, so only from level 1 to level 2. Okay, and after that, alright, so I'm now going to change... I'm now going to place spaces, alright? So uh, I just place a space here, space, space, you pick. There you go. So that's how easy you place a space in your uh, project. Okay, then after that, I'm going to select here, modify. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to place another spaces on my level 2. Okay. I'm going to open level 2 HVAC plan. I'm going to open this. Okay, and then same procedure, uh, analyze space, okay, and then I'm on level 2, so I want to create level 2, uh, I want to create spaces, or is, yeah, spaces from level 2 until what? Until level 2 plenum, okay, so it's like this, just to remind you, see, we need to consider this level, this ceiling here, that's why we create, uh, level here. So I'm going to create spaces from level 2 to level 2 plenum. The first the one that we what, that we did is we create space from level 1 to level 2. Okay, next is we're going to create from level 2 to level 2 plenum. That's why on my level 2 I select space here making sure that the upper limit is level 2 plenum and then again I'm going to make it 0. I don't want any offset from level 2 plenum. Okay, and then there you go. So I'm now going to place now the spaces. So let's say I want to place a space here. Space. Okay. Space. Space. And there's a space. Okay, and then after that, I just select here modify to terminate the space tool. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I already have here a space schedule created. Okay, so I'm going to select space schedule. And you will now see here all the spaces that I have created. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the numbers on my room number to this uh, number here. So these are the names in our Revit link model. In the architectural model, so we need to follow this. So I'm going to make this also 21, 25. Okay, so we need to follow the numbering of the Archi model as well as the naming. Okay, so just just create also space schedule with levels, uh, with level number, name, room number, room name, area, volume as your field. Okay. So it's not difficult to create schedule. I have a tutorial of creating a schedule. Also, if you wanna take a look on the on that video, you can search it also in this channel. Okay, so this one is 68, and then after that I change the name. So archive okay a washing room. Okay. Actually, if you are on subscription with the Autodesk, you can down, uh, download this plugin that is called uh, Space Naming Utility, okay? Which is very useful, okay? If you encounter something like this that you need to uh, name manually, so using that plugin, Okay, it's just like uh, magic. It will rename all your uh, spaces based on the name of the room. Okay, so it will really save the time. You can download this in uh, in our Autodesk application. Okay, from there you can create your account and then download that plugin. Okay, you just need to go to Autodesk Exchange app. So that is the name of the website wherein you can download plugins. And then you look for Space Naming Utility. Okay, if you are on subscription or if your company is on subscription, you can ask your IT if 
your company is on subscription and then after that you just tell them to download this and install this plugin space naming utility so it will really saves you a lot of time okay especially in naming like this okay right so after i name the modify the space properties in my schedule i'm now going to open uh, level one just to check if it is updated so as you can see it's now updated right Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add plenum spaces. Okay, so I'm going to add plenum spaces. So I'm going to change first my view going back to the general building section. Okay, and then after that, maybe I'll just adjust the, the crop of my model. Okay, so let's say I'll just going to make it up to here. All right. Okay, and then from the analyze... I'm going to use here the color fill legend. Okay, and then I'm just going to place it here. So I'm going to pick. And then uh, make sure that the spaces here is selected. Actually, you have other options here, zones and rooms. But of course, we are going to select spaces. Then after that, I select OK. There you go. Okay. So if you want to check the settings of this color fill legend, so you just go go ahead selecting this and then just select edit scheme. So as you can see, our legend is based on the name of the spaces. Of course, you can change that if you want. Okay, but I'm not going to change that. So I'll just select OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add plenum spaces. Okay. So to add plenum spaces, because I want to add here, right? I'm not going to continue creating here, okay? So I'm just going to place here, okay? I want to place my level here, okay? So let me just drag this level that I created, okay? So this is what I want. I want to create a space also on my plenum. But the problem is, if you take a look at my project browser, I don't have view here for level 2 plenum, right? I only have level 1, level 2, and then level 3. There is no level 2 plenum. Okay, so we are going to give solution to that. Because you will notice also that the color of the level here is black. So meaning there is no associated floor plan view. On the project browser if you notice your level is colored black the bubble or the head so meaning to say uh, you don't have the associated floor plan on that you see your levels uh, levels 1 2 3 and levels 1 2 3 you notice it's colored blue because there is associated floor plan on that okay so now we are going to create first the floor plan for the level 2 plenum So to do that, I'm going to select the View tab, and then there's the Plan Views. Click that, and I want to create Floor Plan. Okay, so I select the Floor Plan. Alright, there you go. So there's the levels that doesn't have a Floor Plan. But I'm just going to do Level 2. At least you already have an idea if you want to continue placing also levels to your... Uh, placing also spaces to your level 3 and level 3 plenum all right so i just select level 2 plenum and then okay there you go level 2 plenum and this is now the floor plan so maybe i'm just going to rename this this is my level 2 h back plenum Plan. Okay. Ah, no need. Would you like to rename corresponding level and views? No need. Alright. Now, so after that, what I'm going to do is for me to be able to see the, the walls or the divisions in this floor, because right now I'm on I'm at the plenum plan. If I want to see the division, what I'm going or the walls in this a view what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the view range okay so I'm going to adjust the view range okay so I'm just going to zoom in here first okay so as you can see as I pan 
there is some division of walls that appears, right? You see, as I pan. Okay, so if I want to see those elements below this, we are going to adjust the, the view range, the cut plane. Okay, so we are going to adjust the cut plane here on my view range. So I select that. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to adjust the cut plane. So let's say I'm just going to make this 500. So I want to move it down. So 500. And then I select OK. There you go. Okay. So there's now the wall. Okay. And then I'm going to proceed again placing the space. So from the analyze, I select the space here. Okay. Again, I'm now on level 2 HVAC plenum. So up to where? Up to level 3 right because again if I go to the general building section we are talking about this level level 2 plenum up to level 3 okay so that's why on our level 2 plenum space okay so I select here level 3 again the offset I'm gonna make this 0 okay so I say for example I'm gonna place space here space here is space again, space, space, and space. And then after that, I'm just going to select modify. I'm not going to change the name we because we are on the plenum plan. Of course, no need for you to change the name of that. You are just on the plenum. So if I go to the general building section, so you will now notice this. Okay, so this is now your space for the plenum okay so which is very essential so we always uh, consider the plenum spaces so that we get the accurate uh, analytical model for our heating and cooling load calculation so there you go so that's how you create your uh, spaces which is very useful. So that's the process of creating the spaces. So it is very critical to the development of an accurate building model. Spaces define volumes to be treated as a single space for building performance analysis in Revit. So you hope you learned something from this video. So if you have any questions, comments, and suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until then, you all stay beautiful and handsome. Bye-bye!